Lemmy on the South Coast organized for Akshay's uh, fundraiser, a fishing competition running here from Pamula to Stabel and then at Sea Park as well. Yes. I'm standing with my and How he's going to tell us, let's get some sun on our faces. <laughs> he's going to tell us a bit about the comp. It's a really nice initiative. Yeah. So the Fish for Hope is uh, there to help those who are need in our community. And our first event is for Akshay. Um, to raise funds for him, his file is needed by Monday, so all funds that are coming from the fishing competition go towards his cancer treatment. Um, so we we got a, quite a good entry uh, from from all the books. I think there's like 50 participants at each beach currently, and um, the idea is Fish for Hope can help less fortunate, underprivileged kids from helping Akshay. We can go to the next the next event, helping more kids fish, and the idea is to get those kids that never had the opportunity to fish to experience the joy that we all love. And uh, I think this is a perfect time to help Akshay and hopefully we can have more events for him, for him to get more vials. And we hope you guys come out today. Oh, that's yeah. a, it's really a great example. You're in an uh, awesome initiative. Akshay is an avid, avid angler. He's turning 21 or he's 21 already? Yeah, uh, he's actually 22, but he should 22. be here. It's nice if we get a video with him. Yeah. We meet Akshay. And, uh, so guys, that's how I think it's great that Anglers stand together the way you've uh, you've uh, run with this initiative. Yeah. Great example, and thank you very much for doing that for the fishing community. No problem. It's, Look, it's a great example. So Thanks. guys, yeah, we'll take a walk around and maybe talk to some of the anglers. I'll show you guys. There's quite a few anglers. Yeah, it's quite a good spread. Yeah. I'm sure a good hammer's gonna come off that point very soon. Yeah, well, you fish this point off, yeah, eh? Really so, awesome. what's your prediction? The water is nice and calm. You say there's a north south current. I think with this being so clear, I, I saw a lot of guys throw some white baits out. So, I think I am with you to come. Maybe an eagle if you're lucky. But they're trying hard on the point for the first biggest one in. And the water is so clean. Very so, clean, very clean. The yeah, chassis side is dirty, but uh, not the brown. Yeah. And yeah, here it's very clean. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, now the anglers are allowed to. There's a certain. Certain types of baits they are allowed to use and if they catch something that's legal size they can use for a live bait, they're allowed to use it for a live bait. So this jet is already, sorry your name? Uh, Lanville. Lanville. Lanville has already caught a black tail, he's put it into a pool there. But he's first going to try for a carry like he said, a quarantine, which will make a better live bait. Uh, before he puts that one out, if he doesn't get a quarantine he's still got a bit of backup there on the black tail. Um, as you can see, there's weigh officials on all the spots that actually measures the fish and records the size. Several prizes, kids prizes, ladies prizes, and then adult prizes. And then a lot of lucky draws, I believe, with tackle hampers and all kinds of stuff. So you can see there on the rocks, there's a, a lot of people in Stabel, that old section there. And... Uh, Look who's walking here all the way from Durban. Always involved with all the good good functions and charitable functions. I think we need sun. Let's do that. Falling on me. <laughs> How are you? Good man. Good? Uh, okay, sorry, we live, we live. No, I understand. Okay. Sorry uh, we in this lady's picture. So, so we're just moving. <laughs> um Hey guys, <laughs> yeah, Richard next back. to me. Mm. We always see Richard at all these comps and the yeah. good events, and so it's nice having you down south here. You don't come yeah. here often. No, oh, thanks. I think the last time I've been here, I think about 30 years ago. Uh, Stubel Rocks, uh, this place is sanded up now. Uh, this rock used to be high up and have major big pools in it. Uh, it's like fishing off a ledge on the deep end, but yeah. it's completely different now. And this spot, yeah. yeah, this spot changes yeah. but, uh, every the year. The water, water is looking excellent, and lovely. Uh, just hope the guys get some fish. And uh, we want to thank all the anglers for supporting Akshay for his uh, medical uh, goal. We're hoping we get more anglers coming in good with the day. Lovely, I'm right. Nice seeing you, yeah. And I'm sure we're going to run into you. Why aren't you fishing? No, I'm actually. Are you Marshall? Yeah. Okay. This is looking nice and they're not fishing it. Good for the stone, bream and bronzes, yeah? But, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> here's Akshay. Oh, here's Akshay. Morning, morning. Morning. 
How you doing? I'm good, man. We're live. We're just saying how's it. I think it's great that the guys are putting this together. Yeah. This fight you fighting. And uh, yeah, we're all praying for you as well, man. Oh, thanks. I, I hope it turns you. out very, very positive, and I'm sure it will. But it's nice to see all the guys coming up. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, aren't you fishing? No, not today. <laughs> uh, so it's not a lot of fish yet, but I'm sure it might change. Quite a good turnout here at Stumbel, and there's still two other beaches: Pumula Boat Launch and um, Sea Park. We're pretty excited. Um, everyone seems to be having fun. We've caught our first fish, it was a blacktail. Um, li a little little boy caught it, and he's very very stoked. And yeah, we're just hoping for a good turnout for Akshay. You can fish for recreation, you can fish for food, but have you ever fished for hope? Uh, a couple of us came together and created the Fish for Hope Foundation which is basically an organization that wants to help underprivileged children through fishing. We love fishing so much and we want to instill those values in little kids that don't get the chance to go as often. some baits in the water and uh, hopefully we can go on across. So I'll see you guys. Uh, guys, I'm sure you all know this one here face. This is Nathan. That's he, he got the, the, the raggies the last time here. Uh, just before the size was it in the sun now. During the sun. Yeah, during yeah. the sun now. And then, well, uh, earlier I mentioned that Nathan had a bike. Just 
off of anything. Hockey is a good bet. Yeah. Hockey is a good bet. I'm also going to use the hockey. I've got a full hockey. Is it? Uh, I'm going to actually uh, drop a potato on that side and give some fast bets. So, yeah, you guys. Like um, you know, I've been getting a lot of requests as a recent on uh, my social media posts. And the guys want to see us use different types of tackle. So, uh, you know what I mean? You guys know me. set up the Rudolph Skippers. Uh, I saw him at the uh, outdoor and uh, Anglian outdoor world at his shop and I asked him about his rods. I asked a lot of questions and I was quite keen it so I made the purchase from him and yeah. So let's see later. I've got some fantastic rods with me and we're going to be messing around with them and see what we can catch them. And I'll give you guys my honest opinion. Finally got two baits in the water uh, in this insane conditions. The wind is howling like you won't believe. I'm sure you guys can hear. It's not advisable to drone in conditions like this. Uh, but you know what? We've always put our tackle to the test and the technology that we have. So I've got a mackerel out as well as Clint. He's also got a mackerel out. I dropped mine at uh, 250 and he's at 280. So it's whole mackerel baits. Uh, nothing special. Just plain mackerel dropped and we can hope to get a pull. Alright guys, we just got a phone call now, at the point of Sibel, Teal just lost a sandy. He hooked up, fought the fish and apparently at the front he lost the fish. So there is fish around, so we're going to keep on persisting and try to get something. Uh, condition is not so great at Sharks Bay. We still got uh, Clint's drone bed out. He had a small inquiry earlier and he left the bait. Yeah, he didn't read it out. My one came back with full of weed. So I'll keep you guys updated as we go along. Hopefully we can get some fish. Hi guys, we can start the prize giving for the competition. First we want to thank every single one of you who donated, participated, everything. We really appreciate all the funds that came forward for our competition. Now, I'd like to say, might even take over, but... <laughs> okay, um, just from the, uh, the Lockheed's and the Fisherman Warehouse entries, uh, included of today's entries, so the cash entries today, um, and we got a, a very uh, good donation of 5,000 cash today as well. Uh, we got a total of just yesterday and today of 25,000 there. Well okay. That's not including all the guys that actually EFT payments in where they donated money. So we think actually when all of this money does get deposited the cash and all, he'll be closer to that 100,000 amount. Uh, so overall, we are going to have a better figure later on of what the exact amount came in from the fishing competition. But we know it's close to the 100,000 mark now. And hopefully we'll go well over that mark because we've got some raffles that we're going to do and bids today for some of the items that we have. Um, so that I have to thank everyone for. Some guys donated, some guys fished, some guys donated tickets to kids. And I will say thank you to all of you for coming together and doing that for Akshay. Mr. Red Pillars Association. Um, so, we got some amazing prizes that Akshay is going to hand out to you. We're going to start off with the adult section. Okay, okay so we have the biggest edible was a 3 kg bronze beam by Yusuf Natala. 
Elijah, are you here? Elijah. Okay, well, yes, we're coming from Ebony, so I don't yeah. know. Okay, we will contact him and we'll okay. get it in his Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no, we have one more. lost an angler from Pochepston, his name was Morgan, and we'd like to give this to his son, Austin. Austin, are you here? Okay, Austin on a trophy. So, the members of his dad, we have to Seventy-nine numbers. Pick a number between one and ten. Chateau G. Oh, they bought it. Okay, we will contact. Okay, the raffle entry. So she donated. Okay.
Naidu, Samantha. Naidu, Samantha. Make your way. But it's all time. <laughs> hey, you like Shane high numbers, Chad right? Shane Chad Mohan. Shane Chad Mohan. Chantal G. Chantal G. <laughs> Tail, Moodley. Tail, Tail, Tail. Well, leave your arms as well. <laughs> yeah. Well done, sir. Okay, guys. We have some amazing items that we are going to put today. All go to auction. It's hard. It's hard. Come on, come on. Woo. We know you're going to cut when you put up. Because girls are ready to go crazy. 800. 800. Going twice. Going twice. Sold. Woo. Okay. Count down. They're going to your price. Oh.